Hello everybody, I'm Dallin and welcome to X Uses Zest. In today's LEGO video, I'm going to show you guys a couple of really cool modifications I made to my LEGO Star Wars Mandalorian Starfighter. So without further ado, let's go ahead and check them out. <laughs> Before we kick off today's video, I'd like to welcome anybody who may be new here to the channel. Welcome to X Years Is Us, the place where we talk all about Lego, Nerf guns, video games, and more. If you'd like to, please consider joining us here on the channel by hitting that red subscribe button down below, as well as hitting that bell icon right next to it to be notified when we make new videos. Also, if you end up enjoying today's video, please consider leaving a like on it. Anyways, let's go ahead and check out these modifications. So here we have the Lego Mandalorian Starfighter, and this is my own modified version that you see right in front of you. Now, I think the set itself is pretty good, especially considering the fact that you get these awesome minifigures right here, but there are a lot of issues with it, which was basically one of the main things that I wanted to tackle when I was modifying this set. So first off, I'll go ahead and show you guys the landing gear. Don't get me started on what LEGO considers landing gear, especially for this set. I mean, it was ridiculous. Originally, they had a couple of bricks here on the bottom and another little set of bricks right here. And basically, it would just sit at this slant right here. And it just didn't look good, in my opinion, especially for displayability if you wanted to display this. So basically, what I did to solve this was I used a couple of hinge plates here to create a mini retractable landing gear piece. And basically it sits perfectly, um, you know, height wise with the rest of the ship since, you know, the rest of it kind of sits on these thrusters in the back. Um, but yeah, basically I just use a couple of hinge plates right here. And then I also used a cheese slope to kind of square it off. That way this center cockpit area that rotates would be able to sit perfectly parallel to the ground. And it wasn't like this or this or anything like that. Um, but yeah, that's basically my landing gear. Another thing that I did was I modified the cockpit area. Originally, there were these big gaps that people just hated. And basically this was due to the fact that you were fitting these two minifigures inside of this one small window piece. But what I did was I used these angular pieces that you see right here, along with a couple of other bricks. And basically I tried to capture the shape of the window so that it would fit somewhat snugly like this. And I think it looks a little bit better. I don't know. Tell me what you guys think down in the comment section. But now the gaps are somewhat, you know, almost non-existent. Now, another thing that I also wanted to do with that as well was I wanted to make the ship look a little more angular since, you know, the rest of the ship, they have these crazy designs with the wings and stuff. And I just think that all those angles and stuff would definitely look really good on <laughs> the cockpit as well. And now I think it looks a little more aggressive, which is definitely what I was going for since that is the Mandalorian style. And I think it looks pretty cool for the most part. And another thing that I went ahead and did was I went ahead and removed the stud shooters on the sides right here. For me, they just weren't functional, especially since these parts of the wings kind of just got in the way. And you know, it just didn't really look good, especially on display. Also, I'm just not a big fan of stud shooters since the studs always get lost and they end up getting vacuumed up. So, you know, basically I just went ahead and replaced them right here using kind of the same idea of making the ship angular and aggressive. So yeah. The final addition that I made to this set when I modified it was a gunner seat right here in the back. And all you have to do is lift up this hatch right here and you can see that it does fit a minifigure on the inside although it's a little snug and <laughs> it does take a little bit of time to try to get him in and out, but it works pretty nice. And basically I just wanted to add this area since I felt like originally there was a lot of wasted space right here and just kind of this big brick of, you know, nothing good. And of course I made it so that this area doesn't compromise the structural integrity of the rest of the ship. So it works perfectly fine on the inside. Also, if you're feeling a little more passive and if you don't want to throw a gunner on the back, there of course is room for cargo on the inside as well. You can see here that I have a couple of nice credits. You can just throw them in, although I just spilled them, <laughs> and then close up the hatch right here. And it works very nice. Well, everybody, that's gonna be it for today's video. Those are all of the modifications that I have for the Lego Mandalorian Starfighter. 
I really do hope you enjoyed watching today's video. If you did, please consider leaving a like down below, and if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. I will be doing building tutorials on how to do these modifications for yourself in the near future, so stay tuned for those. Anyways guys, that's going to be it for today. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you guys next time.